Hello guys, today I want to talk about Laravel custom artisan commands and specifically how to write the output of those commands, whether it's successful or some error or some table or some progress bar. And this is interesting part of Laravel documentation. So in this video, I will literally go through documentation and try it out. And this is the missing part of the documentation, not the docs itself, but people, how people use the docs. They're just reading the docs and thinking whether to use that function or not. But actually it's really beneficial to try it out and then you would understand whether you want to use something or not. So in this case, for example, the docs say that you can use this info, but how would it actually look in the terminal? And the next example is this error. How would it look differently visually? And the docs quite often don't show the images, the visuals, the actual visual results, and rightfully so. It's not the purpose of the docs of a backend framework. So in this video, let's try it out. What can you do with your artisan commands? For example, I will generate a command called PHP artisan make command process users command, for example. So it's totally fresh. I will do it step by step with you here. And this is a demo project with just random user data. 10 fake users are seated. And for example, let's customize the signature to users process. For example, this will be our signature, how we will call that artisan command. And then in here in handle, we can leave it as return command success. Okay. We don't really need the constructor here actually. And what do we do inside of the handle? Let's do whatever. So there will be some action maybe. And then at the end, let's copy this info. The comment was successful. How would it look? So we copy users process. We go to our terminal and do PHP artisan users process. The comment was successful. Cool. So it's the same styling and color as any command, which is success. Now, okay. What changes if we use this error, for example, let's just change this info to this error. Or well, actually, let's do it side by side. This info, this error. And then if we relaunch users process, so this is how it looks, this error, which is clearly the error, right? And what if we do just this line, this line example, let's relaunch that users process. And this line is just not colored at all. So success is this color. This is red color if something goes wrong. And this line is just typical terminal color. Next, if we go down the documentation, this is one of those sections where I often see people haven't read the full documentation. They just saw the typical examples of this info or this error, but actually there's more to the function. And this is one of the examples where I think some of you will not know that it is possible. So for example, you can add new line or let's add new line three, for example, or new line two. So two lines. And if we relaunch, we have two new lines. For example, if you do something visual like installation or something, and you want to visually separate some process parts, this is a good way to do so. But also you can do the tables. Did you know? So let's actually copy the table here. As an example table, we have that user model in our project, the default user model Let's delete all of those. And user let's import that with PHP storm. And let's see what do we see relaunch users process. And wow, we have a real table formatted automatically and looking great. And finally, how to create the progress bar. Did you know you can do that? So for example, let's copy this with progress bar. So instead of the table, we'll have progress bar and inside we perform some task. Instead of performing the task, let's do just sleep for one second like this. And then we don't really need the result of users. We don't really need the user as a parameter. And let's relaunch that. We have 10 users in the database. So users process and we have one, two, three, and so on sleeping for a second. And then when it reaches 100%, it should be over. Let's take a look. Yep. So the comment is successfully finished and I have a separate video about progress bars and I have more visual examples. So I will link that in the description below. And for this video, that's all I wanted to show you for more complicated example of progress bar. For example, I have a special course on queues in Laravel. So this is queues in Laravel. And one of the lessons is showing progress for batch of jobs. So you may watch that lesson by purchasing the course about queues or subscribing to my yearly membership for the courses. The links will also be in the description below. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.